Sickle cell disease is an inherited blood disease. It has a defect in the genes and the blocks that make the red blood cells. So it will lead usually to a change in the shape. So instead of being a circular, it tend to be more a sickle shape and that will lead to multiple problems. The cells accumulate against each other and it will block small blood vessels, which also will lead to pain in the bone, damage to the organs. Most of the patient really get affected by this severe pain crisis. This pain leads them to a hospital, to emergency room multiple times in the year. Many studies show that even with the best care in the United States, it tend to be patient median life of death is around 43, which is more than 30 years, less than what it is normal. This disease was ignored for so long, but over the last decade, there's been more research and more promising therapy. The EDIT 301 trial, it is a clinical trial. We give you a medicine to help your bone marrow produce more stem cell. Then we, through a special line and a machine, we're able to collect this stem cell. We take this stem cells and we send them to a company. In that company, we are able to modify the gene that it is responsible to produce hemoglobin F, a technology called CRISPR, it's very precise, it's like a scissor. It can go, and specifically the area of the genes that make the hemoglobin F, it goes and change it to a new DNA that we insert. The patient will get chemotherapy so they can get rid of the old bone marrow, and the cells will be infused as if it is like a blood transfusion and the cells will start to go through the blood, go to the bone marrow, and start to build the new white blood cells, new red blood cells. Usually after that, the new blood being produced is from this new modified stem cells. Our hope is to achieve functional cure. It wouldn't take away the impact of sickle cell that already happened. It will help prevent any future damage.